rich nigga, I like rich bitches. Like rich bitches. Ay, gold diggers better get dig. Hey, Louis Shades for my rich vision. Hey, not to mention that my wrist glitz. Nigga, fuck it, pay me and don't be a dollar short. That's your baby, but I'll pay it like it's child support. It don't phase me cause I'm ballin' like it's final four. Hit a daily break up back and a spinal cord. I know she be getting free drinks all night. She gotta be. Don't say no names, but she got a boyfriend actually. Oh, she does. Uh -huh. Yeah. And she was dating some dude back at back in high school. He was little as hell, but he looked old as hell at the same time. You know, you remember who I'm talking about? No. You know the nigga name? Uh oh. Cause he didn't he didn't go to school with us. He was like uh -oh. from back home, I guess. Mm. Um, you remember that? He was darker. He was dark. No, I just remember Jasmine Lamar's boyfriend. Cause he he was funny. <laughs> <laughs> bro, why is he saying that? Bro, like, that nigga was funny as hell in class, bro. I'm trying to think who was in that class with me, but we I was dead in that bitch, bro. <laughs> you know, you want to know why, bro? Because first of all, he was, he was in my life. He was bush. in like a chemistry class bush. or some shit. And we had to do a presentation, bro. My man was up that bitch. He was in that bitch like a mouse, bro. He was like, so he in front of everybody class, he was like, <laughs> that, that used to be the funniest shit because there's always one or two of those people in every class where you gotta do some presentation. And the teacher shit. kept telling to speak louder. He did not go any higher. <laughs> like why the fuck? Why the fuck you that nervous, nigga? We've been in this class with each other for eight months. You talking about something? <laughs> Today my first teacher is gonna be your Barack Obama. Don't no, they keep the Gatorade uh, label on? Let them know. <laughs> I mean, even when it's even when it's off. You know, right? You know, which is great marketing by Gatorade. To keep the, the we should do some shit like that's that. That's why I like Clay Thompson. He what he do? Smack the bottle off the table. He did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause who he was? Chocolate milk. I don't remember who he was. I'm a Yahoo. He was chocolate milk. With Yahoo. It's not even. It's not even it's Yahoo. It's just chocolate milk. Uh, like you can't even buy it. As I was looking for it, because I had a chocolate milk drinking phase. So I'm like, let me try the shit Clay Thompson be promoting. Like, there's nowhere to buy it. Like, what the fuck? I wonder why that's something that he really just don't like. He don't like when you touch his paws at all. Unless you three cute um, pet assist, I mean, vet assistants. Uh, that's why I don't like to get his nails cut off. Huh? Yeah. Why well, don't you have to put him to sleep to do that? No, they tried it without it. He, they, she said they were. He was cool as hell. They had one lady holding him. Come here, Cat Williams. On left, the left side snapping. Your ass look like Cat Williams, boy. He ain't do shit. He just laid there. Well, when I try to cut his shit, he had to fucking wrap it. Just hey, he said he be three cute women. Were they cute? Yeah, they were cute. It was like his dad. They was cute. Oh, so they they was cute or were they sexy? It was cute. How'd you feel about Suzanne having a cute doctor yesterday? A lot of male nurses are cute. <laughs> we being real with each other. Nah, I went when I went to go get my new asthma halo, I went to the the walk in clinic across the street. Everybody male was sexy as hell. Male, female, mm. cat, everybody. <laughs> Dude was like a fucking GQ model. I'm like, damn. You in the wrong profession. I'm on Twitch yesterday and I'm like playing against uh, one of the fans or whatever. He cool as he cool as hell. That's cause he grown though. I'm like, bro, I was that's my favorite thing, bro. I was trying to control what? this one I see a new fan and they they be grown, bro. I'd be like, Did he like twenty two in LA? So we just be I'd be just talking to him like he my homie. Oh, <laughs> like, but they came in the Twitch like when you done? Play with your friends, can you play with the fans? I'm like, Yeah, I'm like, 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 I'm Man, you look like Ben Simmons. He, he not doing all that shit. You know, he just cool. But I'm like, um... Bro, somebody tweeted you the other day. He was like, that's a first. Yeah, that's a first. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> we was talking about, um... Playing LeBron James one-on-one. -on -one. Because I told, cause I was losing and mad. I'm like, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm still trying to win. I, I'm, I'm, we don't play to keep up. We play to... No, he wanted to play me in 2K. And I said, I'm a 2K guy. No, like, you're not going to beat me. He like, yeah, I ain't played in months. I'm like, exactly. You're not gonna beat me. I'm a 2K guy. He like, but if I keep up, I'm like, no, nah, we play to win. We don't play to keep up. Even if I'm playing LeBron James in a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm gonna play to win. He like, but you know you're gonna lose. I'm like, no, I'm not. Because LeBron ain't gonna take me serious. He's gonna try to play sexy and cute. And the fans like it's not hard for LeBron. The fan said, 
LeBron, he, you said sexy. Pause. I'm like, bro, y'all didn't play basketball. Like everybody done had a coach. When you playing casual or soft, you're like, why the fuck you out there playing cute? Why are you trying to play sexy? To where it's out there get the rebound. I like making people uncomfortable by saying shit like that. Like what? Penis. Like, we, it happened in the show once with you. In the show. Yeah, the I show. called somebody cute on the on through the wire, and he was like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." Oh, hold on. Kelly Ooper. Right. Oh, <laughs> Kelly <laughs> yeah, because they they some some dude DM me like, "Y'all on a podcast really need to talk about Kelly Ooper <laughs> Instagram comments." I was like. Why would we talk about him? Exactly. They in there saying he's sexy. Because this grown man calling him sexy. <laughs> but like, why would I? Why would I bring it up on a podcast? That's normal. Yeah. It's know. like they ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he like did something. I, I really don't. I don't think that nigga cute. I don't think no dude cute. I don't know why. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That's not, not when you say king. I don't think nobody thinking like they attracted. Right. Yeah. Just, they, they good good looking, looking dude. Yeah. You're good looking dude. Hey, but you know what they used but to say? You know what they used to say when dudes be like, "He got swag." That was their way of saying he cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're like, "Fuck!" They caught on him. They didn't know what I was saying. Uh, Left it off for Equalizer Two for some reason. Equalizer Two. That's what the guys want. That's the guy talked about. This dude always. The white about. wants to wants to be KD or AD. Yes, yeah, it said yeah, the white has context, lofty. Bro. Said the white has lofty goals. He wants to evolve into Anthony Davis, into Kevin Durant, but his own version. How's that? Damn, I feel like real slow. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> what what we got for the after show though? Anything spectacular going on in life? Hmm. I'm just digging with a with a podcast going. You know, I feel like we've been putting together some good episodes. Um, I'm looking I'm looking forward to traveling. I've been talking to some people. Uh, you know, uh, I want to go on like a tour. I know we ain't big enough for that just yet, but like one day I want to go on a tour, bro. Yeah, that'd be dope. Ooh, that'll be amazing. People doing it too. I yeah, Joe oh, Budden yeah. just did the tour. Mm-hmm. Joe Budden podcast. Joe Budden. Uh, I know. I know. I listen to a few podcasters going on tour. Um, and it just seems like incredible. You know, we get a venue, what five hundred seats maybe in New York, and get our New York fans to come listen to us, watch us. And then we could be more, I don't even know. I don't even know the word I'm looking for. But we can do, like, real segments in a way. I, yeah, I, definitely. I, like, it's not, it wouldn't be just us sitting at a table talking. Like, exactly. Like, it, yeah. Get the fans involved. involved. Exactly. You know, a 20-minute a, a AMA. We have people walk up to a mic and they ask us stuff and we answer for them. And we could tell them live in person, this is a dumbass question, yeah. but <laughs> Steve Nash. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Uh, I still want to go to Cali. I ain't been to Cali yet. Been to Miami, New York, Philly, that whole east side. But I want to go out there out west, Arizona, San Diego, I Cali. Yeah, I haven't even. The farthest I've been was like Louisiana. Fuck, are you doing in Louisiana? <laughs> <laughs> because I had like grandparents out there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so this was a long time ago, though. But I ain't never really. Did you like it? I don't really. Did you fly? Yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't that old. I wasn't that old. I Not mean, to be disrespectful, but I don't really like that stuff. So. Not my type of speed. I'm more of a city type guy. You know, mm-hmm. I like big buildings. Yeah. And bro, I hate driving through cornfields. Yeah, they got cornfields, bro, dirt roads. I hate roads. driving through cornfields. Why? It's, just, it's boring, man. I'm so used to seeing houses yeah. and business and everything. And we just, went up to, to Starved Rock. And you know about the drive to Starved Or maybe you do. Yeah. It's literally Did you go to Manson? It's like right next to Starved Rock. No. Oh, that's where we went. We didn't go to Starved Rock. We went to Manson. Manson. Nah, we went to Star Rock. Oh. But like an hour straight drive of cornfields. Yeah. Cornfields. And then there was no signal either, so I Bro, couldn't do anything. You know what's another reason I don't like cornfields? I forgot which one it was, but in Final Destination, there's a scene where they're in the cornfields, and like the telephone wires come down, and it hits the lady, and like she just, every like her whole body just splits. That's a very rational fear. I just don't like it because it's empty. It's just empty. Yeah. I, you know, I'm a like I said, I'm a city type dude. I like to see big buildings. I like to see people walking and I like most of our state is mostly cornfields, but is. you forget that living up here. Right, exactly. Like you literally exactly. forget that. Yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah, I haven't even been to most of our state. I've been to like Springfield and you things like that. You gotta go far for the cornfields. Nope. Nope. It's literally it's like you, go play, you go to Plainfield. Mm-hmm. It's not the mm-hmm. cornfield. I, I've only been to a couple places here, like Macomb, because my sister graduated. Yeah, I've been to Macomb. Yeah. Um, and then right there was Star Rock, which is in Oglesby or something like that, Illinois. I did a lot of traveling with AU, so I, I've been a lot. I've been a lot around the state. 
I forget. Yeah, you played for Mac Irvin Fire, right? Hell, no. Nah. <laughs> I've been in a couple tournaments that they were in with us. Is that supposed to be this? I don't know anything about AAU. Yeah. They're like one of the best teams in the they, oh, They're okay. normally one of the best teams in the state. Okay. I don't know if they still are. I don't know. You have to be keeping up by AAU? He's not a basketball fan. He's an NBA fan. <laughs> True. Is that it? Yo, what's up with your life? What's up with your life? You ain't. No, I'm the only person that got something that I want to travel that ain't nobody else. Y'all ain't got I shit to No, for sure. I got I, go I got invited to LA. I know what I'm saying like, yeah, what you getting invited it's for? It's a it's an event that dudes my YouTube uh network. Mm -hmm. I'm not going though. Why? It's a I'm gonna go to I'll tell y'all after show. But just basically it's it's something they want me to do while I'm there that I just don't want to do. Oh. But I was saying like y'all ain't got nothing else y'all looking forward to. Like I'm As far as with this show? Uh, anything in life. Just I, yeah. I want to be a. I want this to be like my main source of income. You know, I love mm -hmm. doing a YouTube shit, but obviously, like that, I don't think that could last forever because it's YouTube. But I think this podcast and shit can lead us to something else. So I want that to happen more than anything. True. I think about that a lot. Me too. I think about like all the people we gonna have on our show eventually. Mm -hmm. I want too. a fucking set, man. Yeah, yeah I, I, I want people to understand like, because people like people be telling me all the time like I can't wait for y'all to interview players, and I'm tired of telling like. That's not really my thing. I want people to come to our show. I don't want to be at the locker room at the dual locker while he yeah. getting dressed. Like, so you had uh, thirty two points tonight. What was what was, what was in the air for you to get grow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to be that dude. Yeah, that's not that's not personal enough. Yeah, because they're gonna give you the media answers to everything. I want I want exactly. to sit down and shake hands with some people and like talk to them like we're friends at a table. Exactly. I want to be like Chris oh. from Middleton. Don't you agree with me? You're a good player. I'm not taking anything away from you, but your style is boring, right? He don't like hell no. Yeah, I'm first like, step. Day joy. For the first step, I'm ready for the merch because I'm ready just rocking. Everybody asking for the merch. I'm ready to just rocking. Everybody, Everybody asking Maybe for the we merch. Just go ahead and do it. Everybody asking for the merch. They asking for the merch. I'm a, I'm a, they I'm gonna hit up merch. our guy. And see what's up because maybe he forgot about it. But yeah, every Twitch they ask him for merch. And I keep telling them, yo, I appreciate it. But since y'all so ready, when it does come out, it better sell out. Since everybody, <laughs> just make sure you have your money ready because y'all always asking for it. I dare a single shirt to not be so. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's nothing better than having your own merch, especially if it's good. Like I think my personal merch designs are are like not that great, so I don't wear them often. I, I actually enjoy them, bro. I think they're decent. I like the no overtime one. The no overtime. Yeah, I, I love that. Yeah, dope. yeah. Uh, but other the other one. You didn't that, release that one though. I didn't release it to the public. No, I released it only to myself. I like that. I like that. I like that. I, I hope that it's we can come up with some type of design that's one on one. Like you know the through the why I'm going to get some shit like that. It's only gonna be for you. Yeah, and oh. people gonna be like, damn. So then when if it ever does come out, it's gonna be crazy because. Yeah. But I think my other designs are kind of like kitty, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that plays to my audience. But I mean, way. you did come out with that one when we was younger. You're yeah. talking about like the first. Yeah, the yeah, first, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it is what it is. Mer merch is great, though. Shout out to those jerseys we're going to be getting. That shit is fucked. Is he sending them to us or are we getting I them think, when we go there? I think we're getting them when we go there. That'd be dope. Yeah. That'd be dope. Because like we dope. walk in. <laughs> what are y'all wearing now? My we, when we go I'm today. just wearing what I wear, you yeah, know? Probably wear like a jeans and a shirt. Yeah, I'm not going to be rocking no top. Because that's not us, you know? I thought we were wearing business clothes. I thought it was like a we're business. We're a casual. We're a casual. I'm not business. changing who I am. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I thought it was more like a business meeting. Even if it is. Even if it is. No, I've had business. I'm coming in to meet them. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not like I'm, I'm saying, don't show up in basketball shorts now. Yeah. But I mean, but you don't have to wear a, yeah, a right. college <laughs> shirt. <laughs> I've had business meetings. I just be myself, man. They like that more. They don't want you to fake it. Cause it's not, yeah, it's not like we like that on the show. Yeah, they want they want us. Only people who want you to do that is pe for some reason when you fill out like an application or trying a job interview. Walmart wants you yeah, to wear a yeah, fucking yeah. college shirt, yeah, even yeah, though you, you're not that. about to wear a college shirt on on site for the job, but they want you to do it. Crazy to me, but um, I I mean I guess I get it somewhat. But yeah, I'm gonna wear some. I'm gonna wear some Knicks stuff. You know what I mean? I'm New York. There, I'm gonna yeah. go shopping. Yeah. That's what I did last time. I went to New York. I, I bought so, a bunch I of Yankee gear. I hope there's a big sign when you get off the elevator. This is through the wire. No, 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 no. It says like Bleach Report oh. or, or House of Highlights. Yeah, I just need a picture, picture in front of that. Like yeah, they got an Uber. I'm Uber definitely Uber. bringing this. The oh, Uber oh, XL. Sure. Porzingis again. That brought the crowd to their feet. 